the goal of this avatar is to improve structural balance. Okay, so you'll see on the screen, uh, the CoachRx structural balance table shows us that uh, we have a few reds with this client. Those reds include a power clean that we might want to bump up a bit. It includes a dumbbell prone row that we need to bump up a little bit in terms of that six rep max. And then it also includes the goblet squat 20 rep max, uh, which we're seeing that we need to bump that up by 20%. Remember that one's relative to body weight. So uh, no other FMEs are influencing that outside of the, the avatar's body weight. Okay, so this one's a, a little bit different and we can kind of uh, uh, play with other techniques here because we're not trying to learn a pattern. Um, we're not trying to uh, improve strength endurance across the board. We're just trying to shore up some structural imbalances that we're seeing. So again, don't look at don't look at this structural balance table as like uh, the the end all be all for all of your program design. It's like once you get through lower hanging fruit, it's just an awesome tool to utilize for priorities for your client's training program. And it's, it's awesome to connect it with that, with your client as well, to talk about some really uh, good goals that you and your client can work toward, especially clients uh, that I think we've all worked with that don't really have specific goals, okay? So don't take this structural balance table as the end all be all, rather it is a great tool uh, that, we, that we can look at to identify priorities. So those are the three priorities that popped up so when we look at the short-term plan, again, we're going to use some accumulation here. And the, the reason why we essentially had to go to accumulation on this one is because we have two strength endurance uh, exercises that we want to increase. So we do want to improve the power clean, um, but the dumbbell prone row, right, that would be, that would fall into the, that would fall into the bucket of strength endurance. And then the goblet squat 20 rep max, that would absolutely fall into the bucket of strength endurance. So doing really heavy triples in the front squat is probably not going to really improve that, that goblet squat. It can down the road, right? Uh, but it's probably not going to directly improve that 20 rep max goblet squat. So we're gonna fall into accumulation here. For a training split, uh, we're actually gonna train four days per week with this advanced avatar. So we're gonna go four resistance training days uh, per week, and we're gonna go upper, lower, upper, lower. So we're just gonna hyper-focus on the upper, upper body and the lower body on specific days. And frequency is going to be pretty good because we do have four opportunities to do it, two per, uh, two, two per split, upper and lower. When we look at the daily plan on Monday, we're gonna focus on the power clean to start. Okay, so this the strength continuum starts to come into play here. Uh, the power clean is a priority, but in terms of uh, in terms of the focus and intent and expression, we do want to start with strength endurance before we go to absolute strength movement. So we're starting with the power clean. Then we have the squat, the bend, and the lunge in the core. On Tuesday, it's an upper day. We're going to go pull, and then we're just alternating push, pull, push, pull. Okay, not a lot of options in terms of uh, pushing and pulling outside of pushing and pulling on upper days. On Thursday, we're gonna go lower body, we're gonna go power clean, and then we're gonna go into the squat, the bend, the lunge, and the core. And then finally on Friday, we're just gonna match what we did on Tuesday with the push-pull alternating. Sets per pattern is actually a, less, uh, a little bit less important for this avatar, okay? Because there's a lot of things that we're working on, and we have to identify, we have to identify what's going to increase, um, what are individual considerations that might increase this person's power clean. Okay, so since we're working with an avatar, we have to, we have to, we, there's, there's information that we just don't have, okay? Is it technical? Is it, uh, is it strength imbalances or do they have a strength deficit? Um, is it just exposure to the power clean? Right? So we have to land on, okay, what do we think is going to increase strength there? Because there could be a limiting factor outside of absolute strength. Okay, so what I landed on for this person, it was skill. Okay, they just need to really prime the pattern of the power clean and just get exposure to it. And that will increase, uh, let's call it their one rep max in that movement, just because they're not exposed to it as much as uh, they would like to be. Okay, so... Um, 
we're, we're power cleaning. We're, we have 12 sets of power cleaning per week, but that doesn't really tell us much. And you'll get, you'll, you'll understand why once we get into program design, we're pulling a lot. Okay. So that makes sense with what we're looking at with the prone row. Um, and squatting, we're only doing eight sets per week of squats. Okay. So that might pop out as like, well, how are you going to increase the 20 rep max goblet squat? If you're only exposing them to that thing for eight sets per week, that will again make more sense when we get into the program design.